The Montreal Canadiens fleeced both the Winnipeg Jets and the Calgary Flames. Let's talk about it. So I made my initial reaction video to Sean Monaghan being traded to the Winnipeg Jets. If you didn't know, Montreal Canadiens acquired Sean Monaghan from the Calgary Flames when he was seen as a cap dump, and they acquired a first-round pick to take the contract. So they got a first-round pick for taking Sean Monaghan, and now they're getting a first-round pick for trading Monaghan to the Jets, as well as a 2027 conditional third-round pick. So you're telling me, from just the asset of Monaghan itself on the surface, Montreal comes away with two first round picks and a third round pick is absolutely insane. I think if you're a Habs fan, yeah, you know what? Losing Monaghan, the face off circles, the defensive effort, just the veteran presence, it sucks because it's a younger team. It's a team that's trying to build. And I think Habs fans wanted them to re sign Monaghan. But the fact that you're getting a first and third round pick and have two first round picks to show for, for acquiring Monaghan, huge asset management from Jeff Gorton and Kent Hughes. You got to put a W on that. I think a lot of Habs fans have been criticizing some of the things Ken Hughes has done in the last year. Uh, prior to that, everyone was saying Ken Hughes masterclass is left and right. I mean, this is a Jeff Gordon and Ken Hughes masterclass right here. So first and third to Montreal, Sean Monaghan to Winnipeg, no salary retained. Um, I think if you're a Winnipeg Jets fan, you also got to be content, but it's a lot to give up. Um, I, I don't know what you, I mean, Jets fans, definitely comment down below. Would you have preferred like a Lucius, Chaz Lucius to be in this trade along with maybe a second round pick? like the structure of that kind of deal, or are you more com comfortable with the first and third knowing that draft picks are always question mark, right? You could draft, I don't know, like a Rutger McGrory or a Brad Lambert with a later first round pick, or on the negative side, you could draft like a Logan Stanley with a late first round pick or like even a second round pick. So they give up a first and third here to get a veteran presence in Sean Monaghan. I really think it depends. I mean, we've seen in the past, like with Winnipeg trading for like Kevin Hayes and Paul Stastny, guys like that, and trading first round picks or trading high draft picks, and they just leave in the off season. That very well could happen here with Sean Monahan. And I think Jets fans, if they don't do well in the playoffs, will look down on this trade if that's the case. But you got to take risks, especially for Shovel Day Off, who I don't think he takes too many L's in deals. I mean, he just took a massive W in the Dubois trade, and it keeps looking better and better. So you look at now this trade, it's taking a chance. Now you have the center depth of Shifley, Monaghan, Lowry. I mean, go down the list. You have a lot of center options here. And, of course, I think you've seen centers leave, whether it's Dubois. Um, but, I mean, I think you have to take a chance here. And, and guys like Perfetti, maybe he develops to become a center. Uh, you've got centers in the pipeline. So you didn't give up any prospects here. It was just a first and third. But at Montreal fans, you got to be happy. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Like, notification bell. Definitely comment down below. But on the surface, I think you can say Habs fleeced in a way for both teams. So uh, we'll talk soon on more news. And yeah, a lot of things are coming out. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.